I've gotten a lot of comments and people keep telling me to make a video about Cemetery, but what they don't know is that I already have made a video about him. It's just that he went ahead and striked it down and now blocks everyone who mentions that to him. This is only one of my issues with him and I'll get to more in a second. You see, first I want to explain to you what a claim is and what the video strike is. A video claim is when someone else claims your video because of copyrighted content and can either choose to make all the money off it or just block it everywhere. A strike is very different and much more serious. When you get a strike, you need three strikes for your whole channel to get deleted. And if you want to appeal to the strike, you have to give a lot of your information and there's a chance that you might go to court over it. So Cemetery literally strike down my video, basically attempting to get my channel taken down and get me in trouble with YouTube, even though the video was not offensive at all. I actually re-uploaded this video to my Patreon so you can watch it for free. You do not have to donate or anything you can just watch the video for free now look he strike down my video i got in trouble with youtube and he kept blocking it and the thing is with strikes people usually resolve it verbally with the people that striked it down so i dm'd cemetery asking him like hey you know uh like was the bro there was there anything you did not like about my vid because if you didn't like i can just change it out did i say something non-true did i say something that offended you I could just tell me and I will legit change it back. He would not respond to me. The only response I ever got from him, and not, not even me, my fans got from him, was when my fans DM'd him, why did you strike down Gatsu's video? He just blocked them. Very manly, bro. I I'm sure you actually kill cops, bro. I'm sure you do. If you can't even handle a verbal conflict with another person. And the thing is, I could actually appeal the strike. But then I would need to give Cemetery my full legal name and my address. And personally, I don't want to give some edgy kid that goes by the name Cementary in America my address. Second, I want to talk about how he treats people. You might think this is a common theme with underground rappers because their ego is way way higher than their actual skill and popularity. For example, if I had made the same kind of video about Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran personally had seen it, I genuinely think he would just laugh about it and not done anything. Because that's the thing bro, actual successful people that actually have good careers do not get mad about dumb shit like that. And especially don't go out of their way to do such hateful things as striking down other people's videos and trying to get their channel taken down. If you think I talked mad shit in that video, you can literally just check it out yourself. Cemetery used to make music with an associate that went by the name of Ghost Mountain. Those two were childhood friends, they went to school together and then they started a rap group. When his associate Ghost Mountain left his rap group, Haunted Mound, Cemetery went ahead to talk shit about him 24-7, 365. Any chance that Cemetery could get to talk shit about Ghost Mountain, he took. He even went, went as far as to delete music that featured Ghost Mountain, which led to a lot of his best music getting deleted because a lot of people would agree with me that Ghost Mountain was the best part of his songs. And he even went as far to downplay his colleague's work, saying that Ghost Mountain barely did anything and that he did 90% of the work. So he's clearly just undermining Ghost Mountain's effort that he went through to write the lyrics, to make the songs and everything, just because he's mad at him now. And now he gets to say he did 90% of Ghost Mountain's work when he clearly did not. You can check Cemetery's lyrics and Ghost Mountain's lyrics. Cemetery's lyrics don't even rhyme bro half the time. And why did they have beef? Why must they have broken up, you know? Was it some like triumphant reason? Ghost Mountain did not want to do music anymore because he wanted to go to school. That's the only reason Cemetery did everything. Ghost Mountain wanted to go to school, causing Cemetery to get bitter and say, and I again quote, quitters will be quitters, to delete most music with Ghost Mountain in it, telling fans to stop asking about Ghost and saying he did the majority of Ghost Mountain's work. Cemetery also said that Ghost was never serious about making music in the first place and generally just shitted on him. What I'm saying now is absolute fact. You can literally do your own research about this and check it. There was also this one other rapper who helped Cemetery blow up. It was a Scottish guy named Juju, who also helped book Drain Gang in 2014. So, 
Cemetery and Juju were producing it for each other and making songs. Here's a Juju song produced by Cemetery, here's their collab, and etc. They made a lot of stuff together. And at that point, Juju was more popular than Cemetery, so he was actually helping him come up. However, Sam and Juju got mad at each other, so Cemetery being what he is, decided to delete the songs they had together and delete their legacy. What happened with Cemetery, right? Cemetery was just trying to dictate who and who I can't associate with based on who they associate with and judging my character based on it in a way that I found disrespectful as someone who is younger than me and someone who looks up to me and as someone who is extremely privileged and has done nothing to elevate me. And he's telling me not to associate with people who do things to help me as a person, who look out for me as someone who is like literally under fucking privilege. I'm broke, you get me? So he's trying to be some, oh, you shouldn't talk to these guys. No. So that's why I don't fuck with Cemetery. And that's why he doesn't fuck with me, just because I don't take being told what to do. This is very ironic for a person, aka Cemetery, who made his whole aesthetic fuck the government, fuck the police, fuck capitalism type shit while profiting off literally all of those. His dad produced the Pokemon movie soundtrack and funded this guy's entire career yet he claims to be an independent artist on multiple occasions. Yeah yeah guys, fuck capitalism but here are gay shirts we sell for profit. And the third, I really 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 want to get to his ego because he's literally going to go down the same route as Space Ghost Perp did. If he keeps burning bridges like this, if he keeps being in his own, like, CC hypno fucking uh, tunnel that he is in, where he just has yes men around him and nobody to critique him, because he only surrounds himself with yes men, so of course he's going to have a big ass ego and think that whatever he's doing is correct. When it's not. Deleting other people's legacy just because you have beef with them now, even though you were best friends in the past, is not a good human thing to do. You go fuck capitalism, but sell pride shirts only in the month of June, aka pride month, just like all the other big corporations are doing. You try to get other people's videos taken down of YouTube that you don't like. This is the same route that Space Ghost Purp went through. He started making music, he started blowing up, then his ego got a little too big because people started giving him good reviews. Then he started burning bridges with his friends that he used to make music with. Then he started beefing with people on the internet. And now, fast forward years later, he beefs with randoms on Facebook and live streams to 20 viewers on YouTube. Cemetery, this is the path that you will go down on if you do not change your habits. So be a man and change your habits. Say that you've done wrong. We have all done wrong in our lifetime. No matter how good your music is, if you keep this up, you will end up live streaming to 10 viewers on YouTube and being angry at life. Because you're just a trust fund kid who cries like a little child when somebody disagrees with him or goes against what he wants to do. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.